All right, all right, Koi LeRae still seems to be upset about this blunt big as Koi LeRae line that was originally in Lotto's song. Now, of course, at this time and several times since then, Lotto has said this was not a diss, but Koi LeRae has been on record for saying like, look, I don't want people comparing me to nothing. Don't bring up my size or nothing. And I get it. There are skinny women out there that really feel some type of way when people say, oh, you're so small and you're so tiny so i get it being defensive about it but as somebody who knows smokers saying you have or you're smoking on a blunt as big as koi LeRae is a, in my personal opinion i think is a great way for a lot of to say look i recognize you and here's a cute little way for me to include you in the bar without really stretching you know or reaching for a way to fit you into a song because yes we know koi LeRae is small she is tiny but why would Lotto brag about smoking on a tiny blunt? Like, come on now. So let's just, I just don't get her frustration. So then she goes on to say, hop up on that couch and roll little Lotto out the bag. We know this is a diss because Lotto refers to herself as Big Lotto. So calling her Little Lotto is definitely a um, jab. You know, I don't think anybody feels like we're reaching on this. I know some people feel like, oh, you guys are just trying to start some shit. No, where to smoke this fire. Lotto goes by Big Lotto, so calling her Little Lotto is a diss. Now, again, I just don't understand the politics behind this. Well, I do, but I don't want to start that narrative. But I just feel like there is some type of underlying allegiance going on to where somebody is trying to get her to diss Lotto for whatever reason, because the whole world just cannot wrap their mind around why Coyle Ray is so pressed about that line when that line should have been looked at some form of endearment like some form of like hey look i see you baby let me just drop this little line on you and lotto is out here prospering she has now i think two number ones or at least two songs in the top three i know she's got seven and she's got the song that's going stupid crazy with anderson pat um it, regardless she's going stupid and so instead of y'all like linking up together and doing a song together you'd rather stretch out this beef that really nobody gives a fuck about because nobody can understand why the fuck you're mad nobody understands why you're mad <laughs> i mean you know so i mean i do in a little bit because yeah you're, you're small and people are sensitive about being tiny i get that too but it's just like what are we really beefing about and so this is why i constantly keep saying that female rap is going to have a very hard time prospering because it just never seems like a woman who is having her shine who is having her moment can ever just live in that moment and not have to deal with people trying to start shit with them and beef with them and cardi b who is another person is showing people that you can have your moment have it have, and still live in your moment while also bringing up and uplifting other women i hope that lotto does not feed into the shit because there's literally no reason for you to be beefing with her. You're obviously you're out here thriving. You're out here dropping great music. Continue to drop that great music. Let Coyle Ray be mad about whatever she wants to be mad about. She's entitled to her feelings. But don't respond to this. It's a dumbass diss. Nobody understands why you're mad, really. And that's just my personal opinion on it. But I want to know what you guys think down below.